Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is May 7th, 2019. And I want to talk to you about a subject that will probably shake many of you up and leave you totally incredulous. I want to talk to you about spiritual sex, sex between spiritual beings. Now, many of you do not believe this happens, but brothers and sisters, it does. Many of you don't think that beings in heaven have sex, but they do. Now, I have been given two visions this night that shows me that it does happen. And that's what I want to share with you today. Now, brothers and sisters, I have been telling you over and over again that Yahushua and I have children. We have spiritual children together. Now these children were conceived by spiritual sex between Yahushua and the Holy Spirit. This is what Yahushua and the Holy Spirit has been revealing to me. Now on top of this, remember now, it was revealed to me that I am the Holy Spirit incarnate. In other words, born in the flesh for such a time as this. I told you that I did not understand how we could have children. I didn't understand how they could come about because physically I am barren. I had my uterus removed in 1993, though I still have ovaries. So to have children and be told that I have children, that really kind of went against my physical understanding. So how could this happen? How could this occur is what I always thought. Well, I believe the visions that was given to me, that were given to me, were given to me to show how this occurred. Now again, it was revealed to me that I am the Holy Spirit incarnate. So I'm not saying that this could happen to every regular man or woman, but I'm showing you what Yahushua and the Holy Spirit has revealed to me. In fact, during the vision, one of the things that was spoken to my spirit very clearly this is the way, let me see it, let me see if I can just go ahead and read it. It says that when the spirits come together to give birth, this it this is how it happens. And that's what was spoken to me in one of the visions. Now I'm going to tell you the visions that were given to me. And they are very private visions, but I wrote them in my journal. So I'm going to read from a journal. What I wrote, I will not keep back my most intimate thoughts during the vision, but I will read to you exactly what I wrote. And so here are, here is the vision, the first one anyway. Okay. This was on 5-7-2019. I woke up about 5.40 a.m. and I looked over at the wall next to my closet where my desk was before I moved things around. Now, if you had read, uh, listened to one of my previous videos, I was told to move my bed and that's what I did. So I moved it around. So this vision occurred on the wall that was where my desk used to be because I moved my desk over and then I put my bed in a little bit of a different place, uh, trying to be obedient to what was um, shown to me. So in this vision, I saw a bed and I believed it was my bed, but it was actually a bigger bed. And I saw what was a spiritual husband and a spiritual wife and I noticed that they were hugging and caressing each other 
And as I'm watching, this is in the spirit. I'm noticing that they are now making love to each other. They were having spiritual intercourse. Now, I could see this in the spirit. There was no fleshiness involved. I was looking at this in the spirit. It was like I was seeing them almost in x-ray form, but I didn't see all the edges of the x-ray. But it was very clear in my mind that these two entities were engaging in spiritual sex. The spirits were coming together and merging in a way that was mesmerizing, mesmerizing to behold. And after watching this, and as I said, it was obvious in my mind what was going on. I turned away from the wall and started thinking about, wow, what did I just see? And so now that I've turned away from the wall, I'm laying on my back and thinking, these beings were having spiritual sex, though it was not any fleshy misinvolved they were having spiritual sex and that was clear to me and that was the pretty much the end of that vision on the wall now as i lay there with my eyes closed thinking about this i started to see or started to have a closed eye vision I started to see two spirits appear right above me. One was a light spirit and the other was a bit dark spirit. And I knew these spirits were the spirits of Yahushua and the Holy Spirit. They then start caressing and loving on each other and they start having spiritual sex right above me and I'm looking at them now in a closed eye vision and they are right above me and it was obvious again who they were it was Yahushua and Holy Spirit and they were having spiritual sex and they wanted me to see it that's why they left the wall when I turned away and it reappeared right over my bed and so as they were having this spiritual sex and again there was absolutely no fleshiness involved it was only spiritual manifestations of energy moving in and out and combining in various ways and I knew that it was sex that was going on I watched it and as I watched it, because it was right there, I couldn't really avoid it, I became sexually stimulated. I felt my sexual organs began to vibrate and to be stimulated. And I felt pleasantly aroused. And after a few seconds of this, I felt a wave of pleasure and orgasm just flow through my body. It was very intense and very, very pleasurable. Now it happened in a way that I didn't expect because I wasn't looking for this, I had not done anything to happen, but I enjoyed it immensely to the point that I wanted more. And in fact, I even asked for more of it but I didn't get another wave. It only happened that one time. So as I lay there, I started kind of feeling guilty. Maybe I shouldn't have asked for that. Maybe I should have rebuked it, but, but I knew who it was. And it, it, as I said, you know, I, it, it really was an excellent feeling, a great feeling. So, Feeling somewhat guilty, I was laying on my back at that point, so I turned back to the wall where I originally had the first vision. And as I laid up thinking about what just happened right in front of my face and what I just felt, 
I start seeing another vision on the wall. And this time, it was the vision of the man and the woman. But the man was there, but I only saw the woman in the bed. And the woman was fully pregnant. She was fully pregnant with a baby. And the baby had glowing eyes. And let me get back to reading. I'm telling the story, but I need to read it. And I saw the woman was fully pregnant with what looked like a full-term baby with glowing eyes. I could see the woman's stomach. And it was with a baby with glowing eyes, but the baby was large enough to be delivered. And I remember thinking... Am I now pregnant with a spiritual baby with glowing eyes because of what I had just kind of participated in? I was wondering that, was this vision on the wall showing me how my and Yahushua babies have been conceived? Well, brothers and sisters, this is what I felt was being shown to me. It surely left me wondering about that. But I really felt that this was being shown to me. Now, during the visions, there were two things that were said very clearly to me. One was said before the first vision that was given to me on the wall. And the other one was said before the closed-eyed vision where the sexual act was actually performed over above my head. The first thing that was said to me was, when the spirits tell you to do something, you do it in full. And it was as if it was a um, um, something that was said good to me that I followed orders. And I think that had to do with the fact that I moved my bed like they told me to. And the second thing that was said to me, and I mentioned it earlier, it said that when the spirits come together to give birth, this is how it happens. So these two things were spoken clearly to me during this whole vision. So brothers and sisters, when I got this vision, I wasn't absolutely sure that I was going to release the vision. But I felt in my mind, in my heart, that I understood the message that they were giving me uh, because I had asked the question, how in the world could Yahushua and I have spiritual babies when I am barren? But I think he has shown me that it is not necessary for me to have a uterus uh, and that the Holy Spirit is the one who is involved in the birth of our children. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit. Yahushua is the Spirit. And I am the incarnate version of the Holy Spirit. This was shown to me in the vision. And this is what I wanted to share with you today. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will say shalom until the next time.